Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is The Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. Beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Hello, Kat. Hi, (laughs) Bruce. Oh, my God. Jason got back from being out of town this weekend, and he came back to me with, like, a chipped bone in his wrist. He's broken. He's broken again. (laughs) Again. So I spent most of the weekend taking care of him. Oh, my (laughs) We're going to be figuring out getting him a a cast for that situation. Of course, it's always something silly, like, what were you doing? And it's not like, you know, like a generic accident or something like that. It's always playing a sport. Yeah, I was always playing a sport. Volleyball, was that the culprit? Yeah, volleyball this time around. And I'm just like, dude, like, you're not made of mostly cartilage anymore. (laughs) So, uh, yes, so we're going to have to uh, go go do some orthopedic appointments, more of that, more trips to Medford probably in our future as I'm just like, okay. And as we were laughing about before, I, know. You know, I, I was said, like, you know, calcium, you, maybe. you broke something in one arm and then you broke something in the other one. I was just like, you know, have you talked to your doctor? Like, just made sure, like, I don't know, you did like a lack of a mineral or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. maybe get that checked out. So you we're can't uh, fly with broken wings. Dude, all right. Yeah, no. So, um, so yeah, we're going to be uh, getting him wrapped up. Oh, hopefully sometime this week and uh, and hopefully on the mend and, and just I know things come in threes but if they could just stick to two yeah don't lay, lay <laughs> that would be, really don't the, be yeah yeah we don't need three broken bones yeah, yeah, going yeah. for for broke here this year no, um, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna hope that that doesn't happen but hey how was uh, how was yours and juniors weekends hey you know what after the pirate festival mm-hmm. I do nothing usually on Love the weekend it. but I was just putting together the paper or taking it apart and then putting it getting some stuff ready for it and everything like I always do mm-hmm. pretty much relaxed most of the weekend uh yeah, well, after the Pyre Festival, like on Wednesday, I, uh, I've been doing the work around my place and everything like that. You know, get, I got the deck built and got the shed in there. And uh, mm-hmm. they we, the lot across from mine was emptied out, you know, got rid of the trailer. The old trailer was there and everything, and just a new rock in there. And there was this pile of rock in the middle. And I called the owner up and I said, mm-hmm. hey, is it cool if I just take this mountain of rock and, you know, put it over on my property, you know, which is right across the way. Easier than wheeling it down from the top of the hill where we usually get it at. Sure. And he was like, yeah, go ahead and take it. We just clean it up, you know. So I had to flatten it out anyways for him as part of my job. But I uh, I wheeled a bunch of that, like probably about 30 wheelbarrow loads Moving across the road. Rocks. Uh, rock. All right. I'm tell you, my body said, hey, <laughs> guess what? You ain't done in a while. Yeah, you might go to the mm-hmm. gym, mister, but you haven't shoveled the rock in a long time. So oh, my goodness. My whole thing. side, my <laughs> lower back and my side, I'm going, why do I ache there? You know, mm-hmm, I was like, mm-hmm. oh. Yeah, I can still feel remnants of it. I bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's always uh, it's but, always great. Some manual labor to remind you you where you're not working out at the gym. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was going to go work out on Thursday and Friday at the gym, and I said, oh, mm-hmm. never mind that. I'm recovering now. So, <laughs> yeah, and I'm all better. I hit it this morning, and everything's back to normal again oh, for good. a little bit. Good. Oh, that pirate festival, it's crazy. It's wild. But, it uh, always yeah, is. Yeah, it's been great. <laughs> yeah, but it takes a lot, that's for sure. Now we got... We got a, you know, we'll talk about it here in the show. We got a Bodacious Bazaar, and then uh, Jog Your Memories happening in the color red. Looking forward be there to that one. And that, mm-hmm. well, it's a bigger run this time because we took it down to the port. I got Sarah to take it down very to the port nice, this year. Nice. Mm-hmm. It'd be a nice run. I don't know what they're laying out, but that would be a good one. Mm-hmm. But, uh, and then uh, then we got the Oktoberfest. So we got mm-hmm. we got one more big one for us. But Some final hurrahs in yeah, September. And the final, yeah. You know, I mm-hmm. love doing this stuff and I love when it happens, but I, I'm very happy when it's over. <laughs> I know, yeah. It's, I almost it's get up in the morning and I'm like, hey, I don't got to work on no events. And oh, cool. I got mm-hmm. until November before I have to start doing stuff again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that was it. Just relax this weekend, get ready for this next weekend. And just like I said, put it around the house and all that good stuff. So finally getting the way I want it and uh, yeah I dig that so yeah hope everybody out there had some fun this weekend there was some stuff going on and there's still more stuff like I said tons of stuff going on for the it's all through September so uh, we'll be getting a little August in and September on that one but I hope y'all got out there and had some fun this weekend and uh, before we get going I'd like to thank the Oregon South Coast Fisherman the Castaways Just the Jeweler and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report and if you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows at KCIW, all you got to do is go to kciw.org and you will be on your merry way. And we're going to start the show off with some music. Hey, uh, Stephanie Latore and the Reverbs are going to be playing on the 23rd at Inateca at 8 p.m. Mm-hmm. And there are some events coming up at Elk Valley Casino, starting off at the Betty Green Event Center. On the 31st, they're going to have Comedy Pow Wow, a Native American comedy event. Doors for that open at 730. The show starts at 8 
And then on the 31st, there's going to be a rally at Elk Valley Car Show. That's running from 8 to 3 p.m. with music by ZZ Tush and the Mighty Steelheads. And over at their Warriors Bar and Grill, where the music starts at 7.30 p.m., on the 23rd and 24th, it's going to be Jesse Mead. Then on the 30th and 31st, Hannah Pacinger. Yeah, and then, hey, Cisco will be playing on the 24th and the 31st at the Brookings Harbor Farmer's Market at 2 p.m. Yes, and Mike Powell is going to be playing on the 30th over at Checo Brewing Co. from 6 to 8. Uh-huh, and P.A. and T. Roy are finishing off the month on the 23rd. That we have Misty Mountain Brewing, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And then the Mighty Steelheads are playing on the 31st, again at that Elk Valley Casino Car Show. Their music starts at 1 o'clock. Yep, and the Italian guys are playing on the 22nd at Coon Tai 6. And then on the 24th, they'll be at Inateca at 7. And over at Misty Mountain Brewing, where music usually runs from 6 to 8, on the 23rd, again, it's going to be P.A. and T. Roy. On the 30th, Lon Goddard. And on the 31st, they're going to have a surprise guest. Yeah, so that's it Mm -hmm. for the music right now, because we're getting it all together. Oh, you know, next week will be the September music, as usual. So we're getting all that good stuff. But if you're in a band or you're a musician out there and you want to get your stuff on our show or in the Insider Southern Oregon newspaper, all you got to do is send it to captaincurry541 at gmail.com, and you'll be on your way. I'll take care of it for you. Problemo. That's what I do. (laughs) <laughs> All right, and then let's take a look at events here in August for the Checo Library in Brookings. On Mondays for weekly events, they have a Spanish speakers walking group at 5.30 p.m. This is a fitness and conversation group for Spanish speakers. And then on Tuesdays at 11 a.m., they've got their weekly story time that features stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children. And then at 1.30 on Tuesdays, they have a chair yoga class. This is a beginner's yoga class that focuses on seated positions. Then looking at their weekly events for Thursdays at 1.30 p.m., it's another cheer yoga class. And at 5.30 p.m., they have an easy flow yoga class. This yoga class is for beginners, which includes standing poses. It is highly recommended that participants be able to comfortably get up and down from the floor. Finally, on Fridays for weekly events at 4 p.m., they have Hora del Cuento. That's stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children, all led in Spanish. And for monthly and special events over at the library, on the 27th at 5.30 p.m., they have Game Nights at Checo Brewing Co. This is an open game night featuring games from the Checo Library's board game collection, and it's hosted by Checo Brewing Co. at the brewery on Railroad Street. You can try a game from the library or bring one of your favorites. This is a free and fun opportunity to meet and connect with board game enthusiasts in the community, and there's plenty of table space to spread out. Kids are welcome, but they have to be accompanied and supervised by an adult guardian, and game nights happen every second and fourth Tuesdays of the month. And then on the 28th of August, that's a Wednesday at 1 p.m., they have a free art workshop with Tori. Join volunteer and local artist Tori for a free hands-on art workshop. Materials are always provided, and this workshop is geared toward adult artists and crafters. Then on the 29th of August at 4 p.m., they have Lego Club. Lego builders and enthusiasts of all ages are invited to a free open building session in the library's youth section. And then they have one book club left coming up in the month of August. On the 22nd at 5.30 p.m., they're going to have their Pub Grub Book Club. This casual book club is for adult fans of graphic novels. It takes place off-site at Misty Mountain Brewing in downtown Brookings. And this month, the group is reading and discussing I Hate Fairyland by Scotty Young. And if you have any questions about events or programs coming up at the Checo Library, you can always give them a follow on Facebook for updates. You can check out their full events calendar at checkcolibrary.org, or you can give them a call for more info. It's 541-469-7738. And hey, now it's time for quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. Hey, here are a few quotes from actor Robert De Niro. He was born August 17th in 1943. He says, one of the things about acting is it allows you to live other people's lives without having to pay the price. He says, if it's the right chair, it doesn't take long to get comfortable in it. He goes, my definition of a good hotel is a place I'd stay at. And last but not least, he says, hey, you have time to rest when you're dead. (laughs) I hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from Robert De Niro with Cousin Bruce. Till next week. Have a great one. He likes that living fast, does he? Yeah, he does. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Work hard, play hard. Yeah, that's it. All right.
Well, hey, the fourth annual REMAX Coast and Country Charity Classic for Caitlin's Cause is coming up. REMAX, in collaboration with Caitlin's Cause, a local nonprofit organization and 501c3 charity, which works closely with Dornbecker Children's Hospital to provide gifts for children facing illnesses. They're inviting everyone to join them at the Salmon Run Golf Course for their fourth annual Coast and Country Charity Classic for Caitlin's Cause. And this event is taking place on the 23rd, 24th, and 25th at Salmon Run Golf Course. The tournament will follow a best ball format where two-person teams will participate, all with the aim of raising funds for Caitlin's cause. And the practice round is held on the 25th, setting the stage for a wonderful event. If you wish to be a part of the meaningful occasion by either participating in the tournament or by contributing a donation, you can visit their website at kccharityclassic.com. Oh, yes. Yeah. Good golfing there for a cause. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't wait to get back out on the course. Oh, I'll find yeah, my golf clubs. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find them. <laughs> I'll probably end up buying some new ones. <laughs> They're in my storage unit somewhere hiding. Mm-hmm. Hey, Azalea Gardens Senior Living, located at 755 Elk Drive in Brookings, is presenting the Azalea Garden Show and Shine. This is happening on the 25th from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Shine up your ride and meet them there for some live entertainment and a barbecue at Azalea Garden. Ooh, there's a few weeks left of the year for barbecue time. Good yes, on them. Is. Good on them. All right. And the group Let's Be Friends Del Nord is presenting, again, a meet and greet barbecue and karaoke. This is taking place at 920 C Street in Crescent City. This is on the 25th of August from 3 to 5 p.m. The public is invited for an afternoon of food, good company, and karaoke. They'll be bringing the meat. They ask that you please bring a side dish. This is all about making memories and new friends. This event is free. All are welcome to come. You can also join their Facebook group and page Let's Be Friends Del Nort. They have monthly meetups. And for more information, you can call or text 707-951-1440. Yeah. Why can't we be friends? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good stuff. Hey, Lucky 7 Casino is presenting Open Mic Night. This is happening on the 30th, 8 p.m. to midnight. Bring your best act out and show off your talent. This is hosted by Nathan Stone. All right, and now it's time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right. G'day, cat. G'day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of weird history. For your knowledge, pleasure. Did you know an inventor was killed by his own invention? It's true, and here's the story. Franz Karl Reichelt was an Austro-Hungarian-born French tailor, inventor, and parachuting pioneer, now sometimes referred to as the Flying Tailor, who is remembered for jumping to his death from the Eiffel Tower while testing a wearable parachute of his own design. Reichelt had become fixated on developing a suit for aviators that would convert into a parachute and allow them to survive a fall should they be forced to leave their aircraft in mid-air. Well, although he created and experimented with multiple prototypes of wings and parachute suits over the years, they were by and large failures to the point that it was a contention between newspapers after his death whether or not any of his designs were ever functional. While believing that a suitably high-test platform would prove his inventions efficiently, Reichelt repeatedly petitioned the Paris police prefecture for permission to conduct a test for the Eiffel Tower. He finally received permission in 1912, but when he arrived at the tower on the 4th of February, he made it clear that he intended to jump personally rather than conduct an experiment with dummies. Well, despite attempts to dissuade him, he jumped from the first platform of the tower wearing his invention. The parachute failed to deploy, and he plummeted 187 feet to his death. The next day, newspapers were full of illustrated stories about the death of the reckless inventor, and the jump was shown in newsreels. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's Beer Weird History with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Till next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. Well, there you go. You know, I was going to say, when it comes to inventions, it feels like those inventors being killed by their invention stories are horrifically common. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. You They're know, not that uncommon that. when you really stuff and think about it. You're like, yeah, that's, you know, he's going to try that crazy idea. Sometimes it turns out to be legitimately crazy, and, you know. That's like, why the crash yeah, test dummies were invented, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Maybe why they're in they, yeah, they, yeah. Uh, yeah. We know it's slightly better these days, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, slightly. <laughs> slightly better. <laughs> well, hey, coming up in Port Orford, they're having the Port Orford Jubilee Car Show, and this is going to be at 423 11th Street on 31st of August from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. There's going to be food trucks, vendors, music, a silent auction fundraiser, 
And if you want to get car and vendor registration, you can go to portorfordjubilee.org. This fundraiser benefits next year's 4th of July events. And for more information, you can call 541 541- Three nine one two one three zero. Get a head start on the Fourth of July. Always, right. yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Good thing. Hey, Brookings Elks Lodge is having a Labor Day Luau. This will be happening on the thirty first, three p.m. to nine p.m. This is featuring music by Cut It Like the Kings. There'll be ukulele with John, Emblem's dessert table, door prizes, a raffle with proceeds to benefit Jimmy Quella. There's be drink specials, barbecue, hooli hooli chicken. Cornhole Tournament. Tickets are 20 per person or 60 for four. For tickets and info, you can call 541-469-2169. All right. And then Elk Valley Casino is having a rally at Elk Valley on the 31st of August from 8 to 3. This car show is hosted in the spacious Elk Valley Casino parking lot. It's a partnership event with the renowned Northern Knights Car Club. Again, that's happening at the Elk Valley Casino parking lot. There's lots of room for cars. And admission is absolutely free for all ages. And for live music, they're going to have ZZ Tush, as well as the Mighty Steelheads. And for car displays, you can marvel at gleaming chrome and polished paint jobs as the Northern Knights Car Club showcases an array of classic and modern vehicles. And food and drinks, you can satisfy cravings with eats and cold brews available for purchase at the beer booth and food stand. That's right. You know, I've never lived any place where they really had a lot of car shows like we do around here. It'd be really fun. Yeah, the Curry yeah. County Cruisers, the, mm-hmm. these guys, the Northern little... Knights Car Club, every place has got their own little oh, car yeah. club and stuff, Big. and they get out there. Big, big community of car big enthusiasts thing. out yeah. there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's pretty neat. See some lot of nice rides, too, out yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. Show. Hey, check our activity center, Labor Day Potluck Barbecue. This is happening on September 2nd, noon to 4. Says, attention all volunteers and staff, meals on wheels, AARP tax aid, exercise instructors, receptionists, dining room servers, and kitchen crew. You're invited to join them on Labor Day for an afternoon of appreciation and celebration in your honor. These are all people that have worked at the Checo Activity Center. Non-volunteers are welcome for a $10 donation. Barbecue beef brisket sandwiches are for sale. You can bring your own beverages, a dish to share, something to grill if you like, but make sure and bring your own grill. <laughs> like that. Hey, you can bring something to grill, but bring your own grill too. <laughs> all right. Plates and utensils, all proceeds from this event support Checo Activity Center staff wage increases for 2025. All right. BYOG on this yeah, one. Bring I, your I, own grill. That's yes, right. <laughs> no, that's an important distinction to make. Yeah, no, yes, I'm glad they included I just that. love yeah. the way you invite, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> the wording is perfect. Yeah, totally, totally. BYOG, <laughs> folks. BYOG. Uh-huh. All right. And the Fractured Portal VR Lounge, located at 128 Highway 101 in Crescent City, is presenting their first Friday monthly Grand Smash Off. This is going to be on September 6th at 6 p.m. They're having a tournament that will go until a champion is crowned. This is a double elimination tournament. There is an entry fee. For more details, you can call 707-460-8339. And there are prizes for first, second, and third place. Sponsors and prizes are going to be posted to their Facebook page if you're curious about them. I imagine when they say that that's a Smash-Off tournament, that they're talking about uh, Super Smash Bros. It's a popular video game. so um, And, and it's, it's like, VR, uh, yeah, so it must... It's a really big combat-style tournament-style game. So, yeah. And I just realized I, when I got this, and I go, a fractured VR lounge, and it had took me a minute to think about it, and then I was like, oh, I see. Okay. It's a video game lounge. Yeah, a mm-hmm. video game. Somebody yeah. actually created a lounge. I'm going to yeah. check out their Facebook. I forgot mm-hmm. to go look at their yeah, Facebook yeah, page. Yeah, I'm familiar but, with Blake up yeah. in, in Eugene and Portland that have venues like that. So, okay. yeah, that's, that's, so that's a big game yeah, right similar. now, Smash. Yeah, Smash, okay. Super Smash Bros is oh. what they're talking about there. Yeah. Right on. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Learn something new every day. Hey, Monarch Gardens Memory Care is having the Jog Your Memory Color Run, as we were talking about earlier. This is happening on September 7th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. This is at the Port of Brookings Harbor Boardwalk. Color Run starts at noon. You can join in on the fight against Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. Spread the love and raise awareness and donations for the Alzheimer's Association. There'll be local vendors, beer garden, food, live music, and more. You can come, have fun, and help make a difference. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. And then Elk Valley Casino is presenting Alien Ant Farm is going to be playing on September 7th at 8 p.m. They're returning to Elk Valley Casino, and they're presenting the alternative rock group Alien Ant Farm live in concert, as well as Snickle Fritz kicking off the show. (laughs) I love that name. Tickets are on sale now. You can get tickets in advance at the Points Club booth online and on the day of the event. Please note, you do have to be 21 or older to attend this concert, and this is a standing-only event. And the Betty Green Event Center is a non-smoking room. 
unruly behavior will result in removal from the event center without a refund. That's You've true. been warned, folks. Okay. <laughs> I, was gonna say, I had to keep that in because the, you don't see that often, but that's the first time I've seen that on one of their announcements. You know, we live in an age where it's like, I can't believe I have to say this, but. You know? yeah, it, yeah, one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, rock concerts are rock concerts, and, you know, the rocking crowds are rocking crowds, but man, don't be a jerk. And it's a standing room one. It's mm-hmm. not the sitting. Usually they have the seats in there and everything yeah. like that. So, yeah, mm-hmm. very cool. Well, yeah, <laughs> I'm looking forward to checking that out. So I had to keep that in because, yeah, that would be great. <laughs> Absolutely. So, hey, oh, inside of Southern Oregon events. Yeah, we ain't done yet. We got one more biggie coming up. We're presenting the Dogtoberfest. This is our version of a tribute to the Oktoberfest going on there in Germany. This will be at the Port of Brookings Harbor, September 14th, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., and September 15th, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The Autumn Festival held in Munich, Germany, that involves the drinking of beer. That's what it says right here. That's what it's all about. So we're celebrating it. (laughs) Two days of celebrating this favorite German pastime on the boardwalk. It'll be featuring local vendors, food, live music, several local breweries in the area. And, yeah, it's just like I said, it's our last one. It's a, uh, yeah. I'm feeling good about that. <laughs> Remember, uh, Oktoberfest does not always happen in October. It's often a September it, event. It, this blows everybody's mind. I know. But you know what we did do? We did bring it back because last year we got hit with, uh, we did it on the third weekend, mm-hmm. I believe it was, or something like that. And we got, yeah, it was nice one day, kind of pretty much for the next um, day. Got kind of, right? yeah, we had yeah. canceled mm-hmm. the second day. So we, with late September. Yeah, yeah. so mm-hmm. we brought it back one more weekend, mm-hmm. hoping in. If it was like last year, that weekend was a nice weekend. So we're hoping a good, totally. nice weekend for it. It is fun. Yeah, it's, it's a blast. Oh, we'll see what the weather decides yeah, to serve us up the weather gives up, yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to say, well, we got that good old German weather, you know, or whatever. Right. You know, or, right. yeah, either yeah, that or Insider might have to start looking at indoor venues yeah, depending no on the time of year. <laughs> okay, we're going to put the Dr. Orpheus in this tent that covers the whole board. Right. Wow. Let's just get a massive tent. Yeah. Hey, we're going to hey, put hey, it over hey, the entire. No. Yeah, we're exactly. Not. Okay. <laughs> hey, coming up at the Curry Public Library in Gold. Old Beach. They're presenting an outdoor movie night, and they're going to be featuring Aladdin. It's the 2019 live action version of Aladdin on the 14th of September from 8 to 10 p.m., so an after dark event, and it is outdoors. You can watch from the comfort of your car or bring your lawn chairs, jackets, blankets, and pillows for their outdoor movie showing in the parking lot. All movies at the library are free. Concessions are available by donation, and restrooms are available in the lobby. The start time may vary based on light and weather conditions, and in the event of rain, they will show the film indoors. See, September 14th. Just, it just, you <laughs> like, never know. When you it's never September, know. you got to put know. that out there. Mm-hmm. Yep, exactly. Mm-hmm. Come on, weather. Be nice. Hey, Curry Public Library, uh, located at 94341 Third Street in Gold Beach. Oh, there's two things going on here. They're presenting the Memory Cafe Curry. Memory Cafe Curry will meet the third Wednesday of every month from 1030 a.m. to 12 p.m. at Curry Public Library. To register for the program, you can email memorycafe at cplib.net or you can call 541-247-7246. A Memory Cafe is an informal social gathering for older adults living with memory loss and their care partners. Care partners may include, but are not often limited to, spouses, siblings, children, or friends whose social lives are often just as affected as their loved ones. Memory Cafes are designed to be a casual, stress-free gathering to allow care partners the opportunity to relax and socialize with others in their same situation. Memory Cafe Curry will be staffed by a qualified social service provider, a library staff, and volunteers. All right. And then KCIW has an ongoing soapbox series. So KCIW is giving folks a chance to speak their mind on a show called The Soapbox. Basically, KCIW is offering two minutes of airtime to anyone who has something to say. There are a few rules, of course. There's no cussing, no slandering, no advertising. But other than that, folks can share what's on their mind. The studio is open every Wednesday from 2 to 3. You can just drop in and record. Yeah, that sounds like a sounds like a deal. You know, deal for two to three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> now, what would you pay? That's right, absolutely nothing. Hey, it's game night at the Whimsical Griffin. This is at six fifteen Setco Avenue, right next to the Redwood Theater. Tuesdays and Fridays, five p.m. to nine p.m. You got Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, board games, and a lot more. All right, and then Meals on Wheels is currently looking for volunteers. If you'd like to do something that will make you and those you help very happy. 
If you would like to do something to help give back to the community you love, if you would like to help out your fellow human beings, well, then Meals on Wheels is looking for you. By delivering a hot meal to those who are homebound, you not only help someone who is hungry, but you also bring a bit of kindness into their lives, a friendly face for them to see every day, and social contact they might not have otherwise. There are three routes that deliver hot meals to about 60 seniors on a daily basis, and each route takes about an hour and a half to complete. You can volunteer by the day, the week, bi-weekly, bi-monthly, and even if it's just one day a week, one day a month, whatever works for you, every little bit helps. If you're interested in helping in this great cause for the community, you can contact Meals on Wheels coordinator Debbie at 714-423-9797. Yeah, and then the Brookings Harbor Boy Scouts of America scouting for new troop members. Boys and girls are invited. Troop 32 and Troop 4032 are now accepting new scouts as well as adults interested in volunteering. Scouts are able to join the troops from 5th grade to age 17. Adults are able to volunteer as long as they are over 21 years old, are able to pass a background check, and willing to spend about an hour and a half completing a youth protection training course. They meet at Scout Hall 7 to 8.30 p.m. every Monday night, except on holidays. You can meet the troops and learn more about Scouts by going to Scout Hall, 414 Azalea Park Road in Brookings. Troop 32 Scout Master is Mark Hagman, 541-661-2749. And 24032 is Scoutmaster Rebecca Wilson, 707-951-3647. All right. And then Fog and Fine Art Gallery, which is located in Wright's Custom Framing and Art Supply at 810 Checo Avenue, has some info here. So the gallery features 36 local artists in a variety of mediums in a classroom to inspire new and seasoned artists with workshops. You can stop by and enjoy all that's new in the gallery. It's open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, and then 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. On Saturdays. And to get more information about class offerings, painting demonstrations, and featured artists, you can call 541 469 7900 or you can visit them on Facebook there at Wright's Custom Framing. Hey, we got one last thing here. And, and you know what? Last week I said, let's go ahead and if anybody's got a change and they know on the community kitchen, <laughs> and I got somebody hit me up and let me know what the change hey, was. Hey, hey. Yeah, so Mondays is St. Timothy's, Tuesdays, St. Timothy's, Wednesdays, Star of the Sea Catholic Church, Thursdays, the Presbyterian Church, Fridays, the Lutheran Church. First, third, and fifth Saturdays at St. Timothy's. Second and fourth Saturdays, Church of the Nazarene. All these times are noon to one. And then Sundays is at St. Timothy's from three o'clock. You can also find the community kitchen schedule at kciw.org. And we'll get that squared there too. So yeah. there we go. We get the right one. But finally, somebody reached out and went, hey, here you go. We got a new hours. Well, there you go. Yeah. Well, hey, that's it. We had our fun. It's time to close out this week's show. Before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to our fillers, producers, Ray and Tom, for all their great work making us look and sound good on the radio. And thank you all for tuning in to this week's Insider Report. And please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. You can also catch all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report, by going to KCIW.org. And while you're there, check out the live streaming as well. Hey, until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. We are signing off. So please support local businesses, keep it real, and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And hey, we'll, we'll see, see you out, out there. there. Bye. 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 Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.